Oh, it's anxious, uh, Sean. Politics here is already divisive. And you add Brexit in, you can see what a, a cocktail that is. Politically, the big question is, could all of this hasten Irish unification? Uh, economically, it's all about what replaces the EU grants. And, and for business, it's all about that border in the Irish Sea. Getting business done at Denison's in Antrim means importing and delivering furniture all over Northern Ireland and the Republic. More paperwork will mean delayed shipments and higher costs. We're very exasperated. We just need clarity and understanding on how this process um, of moving goods over the Irish Sea is going to happen. And when the Prime Minister says, don't worry, what's your reaction? Well, I, I do worry. I, I need to know, is it customs formalities? Is it physical checks? What, what is fiscal checks? What is needed? Over at Waringstown Primary, the Northern Ireland Forest Schools Association is helping to get the children out and about. These valuable lessons in life rely on EU grants, and all of those are coming to an end. It's the unknown and the uncertainty, and we in education, like everybody else, are, are concerned, very concerned, because this is where it's all at. This is, this is our next generation here, and we need to give them the best opportunities uh, we can for their future. But of course, the ghosts of the past are never that far away. Leaving the EU has given fresh momentum to those who want to leave the union of the UK. The important thing here is the whole question of having a border poll, the whole question of United Ireland is on the political um, agenda in terms of people discussing it far more so than they ever have before. The peace process ended the violence, but not the divisions. There's no sign of these walls, which are now tourist attractions, coming down any time soon. Cross-community projects have received millions in funding via the EU. So the money's important, but so is the symbolism. I suppose looking at it within the, the context of Europe, where you have the, the uh, British identity and Irish identity within this island, all of the people could come together under that European identity uh, and share a common purpose. When things are uncertain, people cling to what they know, and things are very uncertain right now. Simon Viger, 5 News, Belfast.